All right, a bus monitor from New York says she hopes kids can learn from her ordeal. Earlier this year, Karen Klein's heart-wrenching story made headlines around the world. A video of her being bullied by a group of boys on a bus went viral. It prompted a Canadian man to take action. He launched a campaign to raise some money on her behalf, and he succeeded in a big way. I want to present you formally with a check, 700000 $703,833. We're pretty excited now to be able to speak with both Karen Klein and Max Sidorov about the good that can come out of a really bad situation. Thank you both for coming and spending Thank some time much. with us. How are you guys feeling? How are you feeling after receiving that check? Because it is $703,000. We shouldn't forget the three, right? Right. <laughs> How are you feeling, Karen? Uh, well, I haven't planned any personal vacations yet. <clears throat> People have been planning them for me. <laughs> like coming here. Yeah. Going to Boston, New York, you know. Yeah. Things like that. <laughs> but what I'm more concerned about right now is not the past what's happened, but the future yeah. of what hopefully will happen. Kids will stop bullying, stop being mean, just be nice to people, be good to people. <laughs> That's basically what I'm concerned about right now. It's a strong message. <clears throat> and, and while you plan, other people plan vacations for you, you have planned uh, a portion of the money to go towards a foundation, right? $100,000 yes. is going to your foundation. Correct. And what is that foundation? And that's for the kids. It's for, um, uh, sort of like what he's got going. Seven acts of, a million acts of love. Mm -hmm. And it's for the kids. And, um. Pretty much, oh, pretty much we have the same goal in mind. Um, something so bad bloomed into something so beautiful. Now that we can impact greater change. One person now, we're hoping have millions. So her foundation has started out, this Karen Klein Anti-Bullying Foundation. In my campaign, to raise funds, we want to raise funds for uh, free counseling for bullied kids, you know, the bullies and their families, as well as a nonprofit TV series. And we wanted people to get excited. And if 30,000 people donated, if 30,000 people donated, donate again, can you imagine how many kids we can help? And it's back to school time. It's going to start again. We want to impact change, 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 real change, not just awareness-based change, but real change that you could see, feel, and you know, you could, you could see it. And were you able to track, uh, these were online donations, were you able to track where they were coming from, what parts of the world? Yeah, over 80 countries. Over 80 countries people donated. That is pretty crazy. Now take us back though, we need to go back to that moment when that video went viral and it was brutal and we were all, we were disgusted by it, we were trying to show it on air and we had to, we had to bleep out certain parts of the things that were coming out of that kid's mouth. Amazing, isn't it? It's, it's really painful. And Max, you get this idea to send her on a vacation. But <laughs> could you have imagined $700,000, $703,000? No way my wildest dreams I could ever imagine something like this. You know, it just shows that one good idea. I mean, anyone can have, everyone has ideas. Just one good idea comes from the heart can blossom into something good. You know, and we're urging people to go on the website, 7millionactsoflove.com donate, voice your change, go on Facebook, say, oh, I did this good thing today, I did that good thing. Just get involved, you know. Do you think about kids being bullied? Oh, yeah. I mean, like I've said before, um, I, it doesn't hurt me like it hurts the younger kids. And it stays with them for as long as they live. I've gotten so many letters from kids that have been bullied, and adults that have been bullied as kids. You know, so it's, it's prevalent so much, just all over. And I never really realized it was that bad until this came out. Mm -hmm. So now, anything that can be done to help. Um, I'm going on an anti-bullying campaign in October. So... Hopefully that'll do some good. It's four different cities, so I'm hoping mm -hmm. we might get to go out west. Yeah, because you didn't travel that much before any of this. Not really, now and again, but yeah, this has been really interesting. Yeah, well, you're taking it and you're rolling with it, right? Right. What do you think of Max? Oh, 
<laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy. He really is. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know how to even pay him back, you know, for what he did. What do you how think? Many, how many hundreds of thousands did you want donated to your foundation? <laughs> To, yeah, I bet he could think of something. <laughs> We're just using our yeah. voice to, to make this known, to make a real change. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're urging people to come out, uh, go on Facebook, on Twitter, and just support our both causes. And what do you think about Karen, though, Max? I can't believe someone could say anything mean to such a nice lady like her. Seriously, I can't. It's a great opportunity to be part of with her and using our voices together to make worlds of change. Okay, now what would you say uh, to any kids out there, the kids that bullied you? I know some of them did apologize, right? Well, one wrote a nice letter, and the other three are a little typewritten, a couple of lines, and that was it. Yeah. But what would you, you know, there are kids out there who, because kids who bully are off, have often been bullied too, right? They're Sorry, kids as well. Yeah. So, I mean, what would you say to those kids out there who may be watching, or parents who have kids who bully? I well, I mean, it's like I want them to go. I told the kids, go to somebody who will help you. Don't let anybody bully you. Mm -hmm. Just go for help. It's as simple as that. I wouldn't say anything, I'd listen to them. Huh. They usually have a lot on their hearts, a lot of their minds. Majority of bullied kids come from underprivileged families, violent families. They need a, a voice, they need an opportunity to, to get themselves heard. So, I mean, if we can impact this change, allow, allow kids to do some good in their community, in the environment, in the world, I mean, this is real stuff, that real change. And this is what we're talking, this is why we came together to form these two, you know, foundations. And, yeah, and yeah. I can feel your passion. This is great. Yeah. And it's great to, uh, to see this unfold. It's great to see that check finally be presented to you. Yeah. Yep. It's great to see you both. Thanks for coming in and sharing this with us. Thank you. So you're welcome. Us. Thank you, Ryan. That's Karen Klein and Max Sitterov joining us here in studio. All the best. You too. Thank you.